This image is uh, going to be available for you to download and print off the Science Live website. And like I say, we're creating a whole bunch of these frameables. And the idea is you can frame it and put it up to remind you that science is amazing. It is amazing. Which it really is. That is just amazing. But uh, I'd like to actually study that chemistry, and I'd like to do it by taking some of a luminous chemical mm -hmm. and some <clears throat> hydrogen peroxide, which has a source of oxygen, and mixing them together and getting a reaction which gives off light, a chemiluminescent reaction, so we can actually see this happen outside Firefly. Okay. And I did this earlier today, and I'd like to show you that now. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. That's me. Here's the chemicals. Pouring them in together, mixing them, oh. and can you see? That is so cool. That's amazing. Wow. So this particular chemical is luminol which is very similar to what the firefly uses. And I have it dripping down through a tube, and you can see every time these two chemicals mix, we get a firefly pulse. I will point out that this did not attract anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you can always try. Well, it would have me. I love that. That is just neat. It is really kind that of fun, is isn't amazing. it? amazing. Okay, so that is how fireflies It's kind of unreal. It is, it, it is it amazing. It really is. And to think that they can fly and they can recreate copies of themselves and they go out and get their own fuel, they forage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really amazing. They're amazing, 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 beautiful creatures. And if you sing them in a forest at night, uh, it's just, it's, it's really amazing. I grew up in, a, in an area out in the Rockies where we didn't have fireflies. And I'd read about them in these books, and I, I just got so excited about them, think there's a bug that just glows, it just lights up. And I tried to imagine what they must be like. And when I moved to Missouri, was when I first saw fireflies, and I thought they were and are just really amazing. Now I'm going to do our training on catching fireflies. Our training? Our training. That's your training. Yes, it's my training. Would you like to be trained on catching fireflies? It is really fun because I decided I wanted to catch some fireflies and put them in a bottle mm -hmm. so I could take them in the house. So I went out with my bottle and there was a firefly, and I grabbed it, and there was nothing there. And I grabbed it again, and there was nothing there, and grabbed and grabbed, and what I got was nothing. So then I finally figured it out. They're flying. And so what you do, if you want to catch one, is you have to project the tra trajectory. So you say blink, 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 and then you have to think where they're going to be, and you grab over here in front of them and put them in the bottle. They don't bite, do they? they? They've never bit me. They might burn if they get too hot. No, they don't burn, they don't bite, they're Isn't amazing. Neat? They're really, really amazing creatures. And they're, they're just beautiful. They are. Just any way you look at it, they're, they're extremely beautiful. They really are. Yeah. Um, there is a lot of science, a lot of technology in these creatures, and if you've got if you've got a glow stick, you know, and you break the glow stick, you're actually breaking the tubing inside so the two chemicals are mixing, and it's the same kind of chemistry. It's a chemiluminescent reaction, and a lot of you have experimented with glow sticks. Well, that's what's going on inside the firefly. But it's, it should, we should be in awe of this. I am. Because it is yeah. awesome. But there's also a a lesson that comes from this that I think we ought to consider. And the lesson is about science and research and developing technologies. Remember, I'm very much into applied science. My mentors trained me on how to take secrets unlocked by science and put them to work for mankind. 
Uh, so I like to do those kinds of things with, with science. And that means that when you run into roadblocks and you're trying to accomplish something, it can be discouraging. It is discouraging. Remember the optimism curve? You go down the bottom and you're ready to give up, but you don't. And then gradually you solve the problems and you bring your technologies out. Well, fireflies teach us something really interesting about that and why we should go on, but you know what? It's even bigger than, than just developing technologies, this lesson they teach us. It's about our whole lives. Today in, in Kansas City, we had one of those gray, dark, stormy days. I'm pretty sure that up a little higher, the sun was shining, but down here, it was a gray, stormy day. And we need those gray, stormy days, they're important but uh, it was gray and stormy. And our lives are like that. We have stormy days, and sometimes it's the weather. Sometimes it's things going on in our lives that are, are stormy and hard, and they have nothing to do with the weather. They, they just have uh, the problems that everybody has to encounter in their lives. But here's an interesting observation. If it was always sunny, day and night, if it was always sunny, we would never see stars. And if it was always sunny, we couldn't see the light of a firefly. And they're beautiful. They're amazing and beautiful to behold. And so maybe the dark moments in our life are an important part of our experience. And they're opportunities that we can learn from. I believe that it is through the dark experiences, the dark, difficult times, that we learn to appreciate the light. And we, we really need to realize that's part of our life. And when things go really good, we should be grateful. And when they're not going as good, we should deter be determined and have hope and not give up. And I think that's really an important concept. I have kind of uh, preached this kind of thinking to students, that we really need to take the good days and the difficult days, the light and the dark, we should take them in stride and live our lives so that we make good experiences out of everything that comes our way.